In my previous video, I demonstrated two methods in testing the shift register 74HC165 by using a simple circuit and by using an Arduino. In this video, the 74165 shift register will be used to expand the I.O. capability of the Arduino. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the 74HC165 connected with the Arduino where the shift load pin is connected to D2, the clock is connected to D3, the uh, serial output QH is connected to D4 and the clock inhibit is connected to D5. We have two four channel touch modules connected with the 74165 where the first module the digital outputs are connected to pins A to D and the second module the digital outputs are connected to pins E to H. And we have MAC729 dot matrix module connected with the Arduino using SPI connection where the data in is connected to D11, the chip select is connected to D10, and the clock is connected to D13. The circuit operates as follows. We can generate an 8-bit binary number by pressing the keys on the two modules. This key represents the most significant bit and this key represents the least significant bit. The generated 8-bit binary number is applied into the 74165 and then serially transferred into the Arduino and the integer value is then displayed on the uh, dot matrix module. So for example, if we press all of the keys, we are generating uh, the binary number 11111111. So the integer value 255 will be displayed on the module. The buttons on the TTP224 module, when touched, will give a logic 1 at the output. When released, we have logic 0. We can make the buttons toggle by shorting these two terminals here. So when we touch, we get logic 1. And when we touch again, we get logic 0. In this video, both cases will be demonstrated in the implemented project. In this first demonstration, we touch a button or buttons to set a binary number and the equivalent decimal value is displayed on the MAC7219 module. In this second demonstration, the touch buttons are in toggle mode. Again, we can set any binary value and see the equivalent decimal number. In the C++ sketch, we need to include these libraries related to the MAC7219 module and we create this object uh, so that we can interact with the module. Uh, keep in mind that the clock pin must be connected to uh, digital pin 13 of the Arduino and the uh, data in must be connected to 11. While the uh, chip select can be connected to any digital pin, in our case it's connected to pin 10. These macros indicate how the 74165 is interfaced with the Arduino and we have this uh, variable here which is used to store the incoming byte from the 74165. Inside the loop function, the first thing we do is to send a low pulse to the shift load pin of the 74165. This will allow the uh, byte input to the digital pins of the chip to be stored inside the internal registers. Next we send a high pulse to the shift load pin. This will enable the clock and the byte inside the shift registers can be shifted out serially to the Arduino. Now we send a high pulse to the clock pin and we enable the clock by sending a low pulse to the clock enable pin and then we can serially shift in the byte from the 74165 starting from the most significant bit 
and using this function shift in we can shift in the bits and store it in the uh, byte variable data next we disable the clock by sending a high pulse to the clock enable pin and then we display the data on the max 7219 module and the process is repeated this video has demonstrated a useful application of the shift register 74165 where we can expand the I.O. capabilities of the Arduino. Thank you for watching.